This is an RTX 5090 from ASUS. It's the Astral. And it's got 32 gigabytes of VRAM. This is an RTX 5080, also from ASUS. It's the tough gaming model. And it only has 16 gigabytes of VRAM. This is important because people are hoping that NVIDIA will launch a super series of 50 series cards next year that will shift from two gigabyte chips to three gigabyte chips. So we could have a 5080 super with 24 gigabytes. And hypothetically, we could even have a 5090 super with 48 gigabytes. But is that actually going to happen? My bet, at least on the 5090 Super, is no. More importantly, even if we do get those GPUs, what quantity are they going to be available in? And will they actually sell at the prices that NVIDIA will announce? Probably not. Because you see right now we've got a big issue and it's DRAM shortages. It even extends to NAND for SSDs. This system has 64 gigabytes of DDR4 DRAM, while this system has 64 gigabytes of DDR5 DRAM. And when I bought this DRAM, oh, a year, year and a half ago, the DDR5 only cost eh, maybe a hundred-ish dollars per 32 gigabytes, maybe 110, 120, not too bad. Right now, 64 gigabytes of DDR5 has shot up in price, and we're looking at prices of maybe five to $800, and things are set to get worse because AI is sucking down all of the DRAM it can get. See, the HBM and the GDDR7, GDDR6, all of those different memory types, they're still built off the same core principles of DRAM dies. It's just how they're configured and, you know, HBM, do they have the TSVs, the through silicon vias and things like that. And when you can sell DRAM to an HBM stack and get a price of maybe $200, $150 per, what is it, gigabyte? I mean, I don't know. It's a lot. Like seriously, if you look at NVIDIA's GB300 stuff. Those chips have 288 gigabytes of HBM3E, and they are probably charging almost half the cost of that chip. Uh, that GPU is in the memory, like easily $25,000. So do you put your memory into consumer stuff where we're talking like I used to pay a hundred dollars hundred let's just call it a hundred and sixty dollars for 32 gigabytes five dollars per gigabyte is what I was paying versus HBM 3e where it's a hundred and fifty dollars per gigabyte for fundamentally DRAM chips that aren't all that different they come off the same production lines long story short too late. I'm predicting there's going to be serious GPU shortages next year, especially on higher capacity memory models. So regardless of whether or not NVIDIA launches a 5080 Super, maybe even a 5090 Super, will those be readily available for purchase at the prices that gamers will want to pay? Probably not. Hopefully I'm wrong. Give me a like and a subscribe if you find this content useful, just trying something else, giving my thoughts on the impending DRAM apocalypse. It's gonna be nasty is my bet. I think we could see another year or two of bad GPU prices and bad SSD prices and bad memory prices as well. Take care, we'll see you next time.